This video will cover moving and rotating parts. To get parts or subassemblies in an approximate location or position, you can use a couple of different techniques. These techniques assume that the parts or subassemblies are fully unconstrained. In other words, no constraints have been applied. If constraints have been applied, the parts or subassemblies will only be able to move in the appropriate directions. Mouse and keyboard. One way to move or rotate parts is to simply left click and drag on a part to move the part in the X, Y, or Z direction. If you hold the Shift key while left clicking and dragging on a part, it will rotate about the origin. The Triad Tool Select the Triad Tool from the Assembly Modeling Toolbar or from the Assembly Tools on the ribbon. Select the part or subassembly and the Triad Tool will be displayed on the part. There will be three linear arrows and three rotation rings. One of the arrows will be yellow. The arrow or rotation ring that is yellow will be the only direction in which the part can be moved or rotated. The direction arrows are relative to the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the part, not the X, Y, and Z axes of the assembly. Click and drag in the work area to move the part in the direction indicated by the yellow arrow. To move the part in a different direction, click on one of the other arrows. It will highlight yellow, and then click and drag the part. The same method can be used to rotate a part. If multiple parts are constrained together, when one part is moved or rotated, the other parts will also move if that direction is not allowed by the constraints. In this case, the aligned constraint between the piston and connecting rod forces the connecting rod to move with the piston when the piston moves in a direction that is contrary to the aligned constraint. When the piston is moved in a direction that is allowed by the aligned constraint, the connecting rod does not need to move. If the part is constrained in a way that does not allow movement, the part will not move or rotate in that direction. In this particular case, when a rotation ring is selected on the triad and the mouse cursor is moved around, the alignment constraint prevents rotation. This video covered moving and rotating parts. To get parts or subassemblies in the approximate location or position, you can use the mouse and keyboard technique as well as the triad tool technique. With the mouse and keyboard technique, you move or rotate parts by left clicking on a part and dragging the part in the X, Y, or Z direction. If you hold the shift key down while left clicking and dragging on a part, it will rotate about the origin. The triad tool is displayed on a selected part or subassembly. There will be three linear arrows and three rotation rings. One of the arrows will be yellow. To move the part, click on one of the arrows, then click and drag the part. The same method is used to rotate a part.